Welcome back to Huawei Connect Live. My name is Chris, and in studio here with us this afternoon, we have the great honor to have Vishal Sika, founder and CEO of Hang10. Vishal, thank you so much for being with us here. Pleasure to be here. So AI is the theme of Huawei Connect, and it's the theme, it seems, of this whole year, it's yeah. seeing in the news. Uh, we're hearing about it all the time. There's a lot of changes in AI in the last, um, last period of time, and I wanted to know, from your perspective, what do you think the biggest uh, numbers or the biggest data points are that show the development of AI? Um, I think um, you know AI as a field has been around for a long time. Mm. It has been around since 1956. Right. And um, but in the last few years, there has been a, a some improvement in the technology, mm. in the techniques, like deep based on primarily on deep neural networks uh, for image recognition, for speech recognition, for uh, language processing. Mm. And one can argue that in basic sensory processing and perceptual tasks. Uh, AI technology is already better than uh, humans. If you look at right. identifying radiology images or mm -hmm. facial recognition at a large scale and, and so on. However, these techniques are still have significant issues uh, with them. Uh, there is a lack of uh, uh, the ability to explain how these systems work. There is a lack of ability to articulate the behavior mm -hmm. or to do reasoning and combining um, the ability to, uh, to, to process information. Right. So I think that uh, when we build enterprise AI for uh, enterprise applications, we have to keep these in mind. And therefore I'm really excited that Huawei has launched the uh, AI strategy today, right. uh, starting from the chip all the way up to the solutions and uh, sort of several layers in between. Mm -hmm. And the native AI processor, uh, the CAN programming model, and, and then the MindSpore framework and the uh, model arts, mm -hmm. um, developer platform. I think the combination of the full stack is in fact a very powerful way to help enterprises embrace AI. Yeah, it's very exciting. I mean, we see all kinds of innovative applications on the floor here. Okay. With that uh, issue, is there a certain bottleneck that you think could be overcome in the future? Or what, yeah, what's the biggest I think, thing to come over? I think several key uh, breakthroughs still need to happen before we get to much more general forms of AI. Mm. But with already what we have, some great applications are possible. If you look at the floor below us here, mm. there are some amazing applications Absolutely. across industries mm. that are possible. So I think that the time in the near future is about identifying these applications, building these applications in a very constrained, rigorous way so that enterprises can rely, can trust these applications. Yep. And yet at the same time, as the underlying technology develops over the next you know, few decades, mm. then embracing that and bringing that into the platform. Right. Thinking of that and uh, AI in the future, what, what's most exciting to you as we look 5, 10, 15 years down the road? I think when we look at today, the ability to deliver applications to enterprises uh, using full stack solutions like, like Huawei's full, mm. full stack solution, this is something that is quite exciting. But when we look further down the road, I think the ability to build more intelligence uh, uh, into the systems, uh, mm. the ability to reason, the ability to be articulate, mm. um, to build systems that are like the society of mind that Marvin Minsky talked about. Right. I think this is something that I'm really excited about, building tools and platforms mm. uh, to do this, these types of things. I'm also very excited about building, bringing the education of AI training uh, to a massive number of people. This is something that I, I feel is very important for the times ahead and uh, also something I f personally find exciting. Oh, that's great. And with 25,000 people here at Huawei Connect, I think there's a lot of people that agree with you about it's that. It's a and fantastic, fantastic forum and a fantastic yeah. platform to start building yeah. solutions. So, Vishal, thank you so much for spending the time with me here this afternoon. And Absolutely. I wish you all the best at uh, Huawei Connect 2018. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.